Hey you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorio! We are on still the experimental version of 0.17, and uh, we have recently expanded our rail all the way out to a new patch of oil over here, which I believe has all been covered up by jack pumps, which I remembered that I placed the jack pumps this time, so that was good. Um, and uh, yeah, we're all ready to go. What I've done is the thing that I like to do, which I hook up all of the jack pumps to some pipes and get them powered, wait until they stop moving, and then go and put this last little piece here and confirm, aha, that they all start moving. Excellent, took them a second to do it, but confirm that they all start moving, which confirms that they're all part of the same pump grid. Uh, I've got a bunch of, uh, of, of stations ready to defend things. There's a lot of aliens out over here. We do have an artillery thing over here, although I think we're just at the max range. It's not firing anymore. So what I think I'll do is I'll go and plop down another little artillery doodab right there. Uh, just to make sure to keep things a little bit clear around this area. Um, and we do have, I did build a radar, I thought, oh yeah, right over here. So this should keep this area a little bit illuminated, give us an idea of what's out in a boot over here. We got some copper. That's not the biggest copper deposit. If we're going this far out for copper, I think we'd like a little bit more. Speaking of, how's our copper deposit over here? Okay, it's still at 3 million for now, so that'll do for now. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, if we can find like 10 million or something, we might look into doing that. Anywho, we've got ourselves our oil pumping up. Um, everything is connected over here. We're waiting for the crew to, uh, well, accrue. So this is 3,000%. I, I would have thought there'd be more things, but I guess they're pumping individually fairly quickly, which is okay. So what I'm going to do over here is just chain you. This is going to be called uh, crude pickup two. And let me hop on board the train. Yeah, I put a little requester chest here for coal, uh, just because why not, right? Uh, crude pickup two to crude drop off. You're going to wait until you are full, then wait until you are empty. I'm going to send you off to the crude drop off now because we're going to confirm that our railroad track is all in place, and it is. And I may as well get a ride back home at the same time. So they're going to keep assembling their little defensive structures over here, uh, and you're going to keep slowly pumping away and uh that should be good this should make fairly consistent trips back and forth and then we're gonna have more crude available oh, we have a lot of bots that are trying to reach me here uh it's a long way to make my poor transport bots go or logistics bots go but you know what they could use the exercise or something so i mean plastic is still coming it's actually i mean we must have gotten another crude delivery not that long ago there we are hop out here yeah we're loading this with solid fuel as well so i guess we didn't have to worry about the coal at the other end but that's all right you've been drained fairly rapidly and actually yeah we've got a good amount of crude in here too and this should just make sure to keep the crude supplies fairly consistent over here and we've got the automatic um conversion of this into petroleum assuming that we need petroleum and we do these things are all running to try to produce as much petroleum as possible as quickly as possible to keep this going if we want to we could get our plastics going a wee bit more i think this is going to be okay although i think i will throw a lane balancer on here um i'll actually do it uh i don't know maybe over here I don't know why they're coming in lopsided, probably as a result of the petroleum gas not filling everything up in maybe the uh, the same order. So one side's getting prioritized by the flow of the fuel. That's probably exactly what's happening and why the sides are a bit inconsistent. May as well just go ahead and balance it there just to make sure that things flow and pack as well as possible onto our, um, our little belts over here. So that's going there. Our red is, where's our red? Over here. Sort of, you know, still slow, but the plastics should be coming in a little faster now. It feels to me, though, even with theoretically both sides operating, no, you're still going petroleum gas. Good gosh. Crude. Maybe we need more oil refineries. They're all burning, they're all connected, yeah. They're all going. Now, this, I think, is another case, though, where we can put productivity modules in here. Now, do we want productivity or do we want speed? This gives us some free oil from time to time. I think we want we want productivity. I think we can put speed in the pump jacks, though, 
and that might be something to consider. But the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab a big selection of these. I don't know how like stackable. Um, well, I mean, it will be stackable as long as I overlap. I'll tell you what, I'll double overlap to make sure it's okay. And yeah, it puts in the recipe or the request for the um, uh, the other components too. We'll get that. So we'll just extend this out a little bit so we get a little bit more refining, which should be being made. Oh, these are my personal construction bots here waiting for the uh, the explosives. I guess maybe I will put in a request for cliff explosives, um, which are going to be over here. There we go. We'll, we'll request a stack. Although we're not too far away, especially from where cliff explosives actually get produced. So getting those to come in would be okay. But there we go. So we'll drop those down. That's very loud. Boom, boom. Um, so we'll get refining going a little faster. Um, well, faster because we built more. We are going to have it go a little bit slower with our components in there, but I think that's probably an okay idea. And I think we'll do the same thing. We'll get productivity modules um, in all of this. So we get, it's a little slower, but we get some freebies. And actually the speed on these don't matter quite as much. Um, do I want to do the plastic as well? I probably should, and then just go and increase the amount of, um, of, of these things that are working. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm just going to go and do this, and yeah, you're going to come around like that, and you're going to do that. And then I just I need to make sure, uh, let's say we have an underground that goes from here to there, so you will now start to produce plastic. And... We'll end up with a lane balancer over here, actually. So the one's going to be a little redundant, but that's okay. Well, some of that. So I think this will run. Yeah, it's just waiting for petroleum, which is technically all connected over there, but we're just short at this time. So, and since we don't have any real heavy or light, it really is just the oil refining. Maybe, maybe I should put speed modules in here? Or just a lot more refining? I mean, we could, I suppose. No, I think I like the extra, the freebies, because even though I set up the second petroleum thing, or the second crude mine, it's not like we're filling up the crude that quickly. I mean, you're about to deliver. I mean, maybe? I, can't, I tend to prefer the production modules because I like the free stuff as opposed to like just slightly faster stuff but it may have been wrong and yeah these are requests for the modules here which are being produced so they'll get delivered and we are speeding it up just by adding more i, I think it's okay i keep saying that and then i keep thinking maybe i'm lying to myself you know what okay i'm gonna take the the really lazy route for it um, I have, yeah, some landfill in hand. So part of it is like, oh, I'm going to have to set up a second row and figure all that out, but I'm going to go super lazy. I'm just going to grab the landfill, make it big enough, and I'm just going to go and just stretch this out this way. Really, really, really turbo lazy. Um, I'm also going to do a little of that. And that. Because we're gonna need some room for some roboports. I'll, I'll have to extend it out from place to place. Speaking of which, do I actually have roboport range and all this? I do actually over here. Um, a little bit of this, a bit of that. Actually, let me do that now. So it'll be a while before that all gets built, but. I think it's going to be okay. Let me get this roboport. I'm just going to bring it over as far as I can over here. There we are. So it'll take a while, but we are producing a fair amount of landfill, so I think it'll be okay. We'll get get going. Also, it'll actually be kind of nice to have roboport coverage um, through. Oh, I don't have any more. Uh, what can I do? I guess I can copy this. There we go, as long as there's nothing else in the foreground. 
There, that'll reach all the way through. Um, having some RoboPorts in the lake here will actually be kind of nice. Um, yeah, we'll just put a few stops over here so we can fit some RoboPorts. Um, so that our little bots can recharge themselves as they're crossing the water here a little bit more consistently. Getting the robot speed is going to be nice, although that's not going to happen for a while if we don't have the plastics coming in quickly enough. But we do have it a little bit more now, so it's going to be okay. Um, and yeah, that's starting to assemble. I don't know, can I put things on top? I think I can blueprint on top of this. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, grab like five of these. I'm going to still do the, like the two levels of overlap here because... I'm just not sure I've done a, like the ideal place of copy and paste. Oh, I can put blueprints. Mm, I can do like mini micro pre-construction of some things where there's a gap, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, we'll get that going anyway. We'll come back to it later, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and try to process the crude a little bit faster. Full, but yeah, the output's not so much. This one's never even got started. Well, the other side's not even being used. So I think it's a bit of a sign. I mean, you are connected, right? Yeah, yeah, down here. It's fine. Okay. And I suppose I could connect it there, but yeah, we just don't have enough petroleum. All right. So that, that'll that develop. That's going to be okay. Um, we've got you. That's done. What's next? Well, I'm still a little bit concerned about getting more copper inputs, but there you go. Yeah, see, it's all backlogged. This copper mining isn't actually enough to saturate all the smelting, but as expected, like we have we have more copper being made than we need, especially since this copper is only going to circuit production. Um, and technically, we're using a little less of it now because we've got less red. And it's interesting that the blues, though, are still totally backlogged and are totally fine. We've got the signs coming through, so we just have to wait. Uh, the, ne the next step to make to embiggen our production is just this. But what else can we do in the meantime? Well, how's our iron production? I guess it's okay. Steel was a little low, although now it's backlogged over here. So I guess it's okay. Um, I think we caught up because I did set up the second one. This is still not enough necessarily to saturate one lane right now, but we don't need a million infinite amounts of steel. We could start prepping our area for where we might want to build our, our rocket center. That might be a thing. How are we doing on power too? Oh, production satisfaction is basically neck and neck. Oh, well, it's nighttime, so that's part of it here. So that's a little bit deceptive. I'm gonna cancel the request for cliff explosives, at least for now. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Yeah, the plastics are still being worked on. But yeah, I'm wondering about just putting down a bunch more solar panels. And I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, because we're going to need more power as we get to the next step. So that's fine. So, oh yeah, I can't put in the fog of war. Let's, yeah, do that line's okay. Mostly we need um, some radar coverage over here is all. And that will also need um, some ability for bots to come over and build that. I actually don't know if that'll cover one another from there. It's hard to know, but at least the construction will reach over there and that's going to be fine. All right. Yeah, we got some things fighting over here, but not much. Copper ore is fine there. And yeah, one of the things we don't really get a note about is when one of these mines kind of expires. We do have the extra iron mine over there, which is good. I've got both sides of the iron over here. Very quickly filling that up. They've got... Um... Oh, okay, they're not supposed to be the cable. That's me having misplaced something. So these two mines are being derped, but that's okay. I think it was a copy-paste error somewhere along the way. But yeah, the mines are effectively working pretty well. I mean, this is, you know, basically empty over here, but it's still getting the job done, and that's okay. Coal pickup, we don't need it as much. Coal pickup's down here. We're not burning through coal as much as before. This is a fairly small pack, patch of coal. Uh, and we do we still use some. Okay, now that it's daytime, how's the power situation? Okay, yeah, our production... Uh, no! Production doesn't scale up a lot as these various guns and turrets go. Yeah, all right, so we are going to go ahead and get more um, more solar panels set up. I'll probably set up two more arrays. I'll try to get them nice and lined up. I'll walk over there just so that we have local vision. So, I mean, I did set up that one, um, that one radar over there, but it's only going to do so much to cover the area. So, yeah, we'll just walk over there and make sure everything's okay. So I just realized the um, the blueprints, because yeah, you can't put the blueprint in Fog of War, but if it overlaps into Fog of War, maybe it's okay. I'm not sure. 
And the blueprints themselves do have radar coverage built in, which is kind of nifty. So I could always do like, I can plop some down and then plop a second load later on, but I guess we'll just do this for now and that's going to be okay. I think this didn't get placed down yet. Is that again? Yeah, I guess that's that. Or coming to delivery for me. So let's go into the blueprint book. The self-defended radar turrets. Hold shift over here. We'll plop you down there. And then we'll go straight north. I wonder how much of a gap. I guess that much of a gap. Because we might, in theory, want to... Oh, it's... Nope, it's not letting me click there. We might, in theory, want to leave enough of a gap for the railroad to go through. Robot worker speed being done is amazingly good. We could get more cargo capacity. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It's not as important as the raw speed, because the speed's used for construction and logistics. But we do have some logistical construction. All right, you're coming through, which is nice. We're going to come over here. We're going to stand sort of in the middle, grab the blueprint. And yeah, line it up so all these cable connections are straight and as much space as possible between the two and then get that going out over there, which is going to be nice. And then as a reminder, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, oops, that's straight, which isn't really the straight that I use, but I don't know, it'll work. I'm just going to sort of reserve space in here for, um, for this. And maybe what I'll do is I'll go and drop an artillery blueprint in the middle of all this. Don't know if I can solo this. Our laser turrets don't actually have power right now. Well, they're being somewhat distracted, which is good. I could drop a few extra guns here too. Go bots, go. Oh, I don't have laser turrets on me. Oh shoot. Uh, laser turrets. Oh, maybe it was already in the thing. Are we not producing laser turrets because we don't have enough something? Uh, that is very possible. God damn, these things have gotten tough. I guess we just consumed a bunch of laser turrets, that's true, but... Come on, shoot me instead of the material. I got shields. It doesn't. Okay. Well, that was um, fun and exciting. <clears throat> got the radar. Let me make sure to get the these things down as quickly as possible. Although, there's still a need to be power to get it online. But there you go. Here comes the bots. I gotta get out of here before I get trapped. <laughs> oh yeah, these aren't close enough, I think, to link the uh, logistics. That's something I had forgotten about, but so I'll do that. Because I think they are. this blueprint is set up to be like tileable for logistics and everything, but I did place them a little too far apart for that, but that's okay. Done, done, done. I'm gonna get out of the way. Clear this, clear this. You guys can use it for the main structure. That's going to be okay. We've got some slow moving bots over there too. Looking to recharge somewhere. Um, oh, you're not actually plugged into the grid. Why? Oh, right. Well, I guess that's fairly legit. There we go. And this will have multiple redundant connections to the grid later on. That's waiting to recharge, but it does have power now. Yeah, excellent. So my bots, yeah, we did have a lot of solar panels, because I think I uncapped the limit on solar panels, or at least made it very high for the solar panel construction, so it'd be easy to plop down uh, on mass like this. So, lots of power. We're going to be good for a long, long while on power again. Possibly until the end of the game, unless I set up mega electric smelters. And we've got laser turrets are in our inventory now, which is great. So what I should do here is some of that. Where are my personal construction bots? Burr. 
Did they all get destroyed in the previous fight? I think they did. I do have um, construction bots being placed in a logistics box. Um, wherever they get constructed, over here. Um, my construction bots go into this here. So, and I have a request in for 25. So there should always be 25 on me. Just gonna have to wait for them to be delivered. So we'll hang out over here. Speaking of deliveries, boom. <laughs> Nice. All right, keep those things shattered. All right, I'll just chill here for a sec. Oh, you don't actually have a power connection. Oh, there you go. Right, because the construction bots are taking care of it. Uh, and now you have power to all these guns. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. We could actually go and just deconstruct these actually. Because this is gonna be defended now. Awesome, and yeah, lots of power. Well, right now the production is really high. I mean, it is recharging the accumulator, so that's part of it. I suppose. But I don't think we were sitting on infinite power. Maybe maybe that's why like, I saw the production was so high. It's because it was charging things, but what the heck, man. Let's keep the batteries more and more full. Because right now, the batteries didn't have much charge throughout the night. So I think we actually were legitimately a little low on power, so it's good we built this. These are not... Oh, it must have been a fog war thing, because I've just noticed the edge of this thing is not actually in place. If I line this up over here, see there's a little bit extra. Yeah, it must have been in the fog of war. I could queue up more, but we're clearly waiting for accumulators right now, so I will wait. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're still charging up the accumulators right now that we've got, and then some more things are gonna come through. All right, that's gonna be fine. We got the artillery turret there to make sure things aren't too close. You've got guns for yourself. You're waiting for a few repairs over here. Yeah, but they're they're all gonna arrive, so that's gonna be okay. I do like the sizzling sound. Makes me think of bacon cooking. Mmm, bacon. All right, we'll go and extend you out to there so that it keeps going that way as well. And then we'll fig figure out the rest of this afterwards. Uranium I'm not too concerned with, although nukes are really cool. They are super duper cool. Um, oh yeah, they set up buffer chests for constructions here. I forgot about that as part of the blueprint. Personal logistics, automated construction. I mean, maybe that's like tying up too many things, but I think it's easier to repair. It's like got some spares to quickly repair things. Maybe the buffer chests are meant to be removed later on. I don't know. Speaking of remove, we'll get rid of some of these rocks and little dead trees over here. I know that actual trees do cut down on pollution. I don't know if like dead trees do. I have no idea. All right. We've got a nice area over here, maybe, for, like, satellite construction? I don't know. Let's go ahead and clear this, though. I don't know if we've got anything that actually requests the stone anywhere. So it's probably just filling up our, our stockpiles more and more, but that's all right. We'll clean it up regardless. It's going to be fine. And, yeah, the solar panels now act as, like, a big, basic defensive wall for us, effectively. Um more coal. That is a fair amount of copper over there. And we are gonna want more. Maybe I should just wire up this copper right now and be ready for the next stage. Kinda might like that idea. Um, how is the plastic coming in now? Right, because this is getting made more. So let's do the thing where we copy a bunch of these. Go for the double overlap. So far along here, I'm like even worried. Are we gonna need pumps or something crazy? Oh, what we are gonna need though is another one of those. And a power cable like that. Excellent. Uh, you're done. Qualification, does it even lead anywhere? It does not. We do need um, the level three speed production and efficiency modules for the next spaceship um, step. So we'll go ahead and get that going. Um, will you, I didn't actually, I don't know if I checked to make sure it's actually within a logistics connection. Oh, it is, okay. Boom, 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 get you in there. Got a whole island over here. It's always funny, like, I see screenshots on, like, the uh, Factorio subreddit or something, where you see, like, alien nests on islands, and people to keep talk about, like, keeping them as pets and things. 
Let's go and put a little radar over here so we get a little bit of coverage over this area. And yeah, get those in. So how is our crude, full on crude? We actually are accumulating light and heavy. Patrolling gas, we still have none of, which means at this point, we could extend our, our um, what is this called? This step here, cracking. We could extend our cracking so that we crack the heavy and light a little faster, but um, which actually we might at some point, because if this is accumulating, um, but the petroleum isn't, adding more refining will lead us to just having an over an overcapacity of heavy and light and not enough petroleum, in which case what we're going to want to do is um, add some production over here, which I guess I may as well do that. Uh, I was going to say there's going to be a little weirdness with this. Um, demolish this. And that, we'll have to bring that back in. Yeah, double overlap. Like so. And then copy over here. Double overlap. And then the water is on the far side. So if we do something like that, something like that, that, that. There you go. That should keep water going in there. I think. And you clearly have construction bot overlap, but I still I'm gonna put you down for logistics overlap over here. Because it'll make me feel good. There you go. A little bit of this. Modules will get delivered in all these places too, which is all fine. Yeah, we probably won't keep this going anymore. It might still be nice to have the bridge here. I don't know. Um, you've got crude, you've got this, you're on fire, so you're working, which is nice to see. And yeah, I think the heavy and the light, well, the light's accumulating, the heavy not so much. Petroleum still isn't, so we could have more. The plastic is fully backed up here. Oh, and, and some of it over here too. Um, is the petroleum on this side not hooked up? Indeed, it is not. How do we get it on? Oh, because we ran it that way. Okay, well, let's do... It's interesting that the ghost images don't auto-invert as you do the different sides. All right, we'll do that to get the petroleum over there. And yeah, now we are... I mean, it's still not flowing. Like, I don't know, if we were fully draining this plastic, would we be filling both sides of the plastic belt? I think so. I think this is sort of what this was designed for. So we'll still do this just for a little bit of redundancy and things, but I think it's mostly a question of as long as we get enough petroleum gas coming in, it's going to be okay. These are being built up. We're waiting for the water deliveries there, actually, which requires a... Um, there it is, cliff explosive over there. So you've got water, you've got light oil, you've got some petroleum, you've got some light oil, you've got no heavy oil, but it's probably because the pump is turned off because we have, yeah, we have more light than heavy. So we're not cracking heavy into light right now, which is a-okay. You guys are sitting here, a bit of a backlog with the crude. You are emptying that out and then you'll move, which is exactly what we want. Um, you're going to be waiting for modules, which is also fine and being built slowly. It'd take a while to build these modules because it's like five greens, five reds, and a surprisingly long construction time, 15 seconds per. So we're going to have to create uh, to produce them in bulk later because um, we're going to need a bunch of the level threes. And the level threes need a bunch of level twos, and level twos need a bunch of the level ones. So it's a whole thing. Um, you... Yeah, our, our sulfur production didn't quite have enough petroleum either. Although, again, that that's... Well, it's not ramping up. It has been ramped up, and it's still a bit of a thing. Again, we could just be making the petroleum faster by using speed modules instead of production, productivity modules. But I think we will appreciate things. Like, again, if we, just, if we need more, we can just go ahead and build more of these. I'll probably limit it to this right now. That's quite a bit. Uh, there's some petroleum consumption over here, which... Now that it's backlogged, we're not really going to use petroleum over here anymore. I'm surprised that it's still draining that much. What else are we using petroleum for? This, the batteries, like the sulfur over here, and sulfuric acid, which, I mean, I guess. We do use a lot of sulfuric acid now, which is being drained, but...
Seriously, other than the plastic and the sulfur, and you are working, right? Yeah, you're animating. These are all animating? Yep. So they're all working to produce petroleum. They've got lots of light. It's not a pumping thing. I'm really surprised. Is there a way to find out consumption? Like if you click on an electric pole, you can find out where some of the consumption is. I don't think we've got the same thing for liquids. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Petroleum stops here. It's not, it doesn't get bust or anything like that. I mean, I guess the plastic is still running pretty heavily now. I mean, these guys aren't. Huh. Yeah, all the way here, they're all running. I'm semi-legitimately confused by the fact that we don't have enough petroleum. I feel like there's, there's something I'm missing. Are we accidentally venting petroleum into the air? Okay, not, not anything quite that crazy. Yeah, we got more light than heavy still. You know, keep being the thing. We actually could really extend our light to petroleum cracking. Oh, you're not producing. But you don't have power. Okay. But these are. I mean, they've got just a little animation going on there to show that they're producing. And I can see some movement in the pipe. And they must be, because, you know, these numbers are changing. Right? Shit, I feel like I might have to take a walk over there and click on some things. I guess it's a it's a good place to put a cut in an episode here. We're still building those. I don't think uh, we were stockpiling enough accumulators. Like wherever I'm building my solar panel stuff, which is over here. Mm, there's a huge limit. Oh, yeah, you're just, you don't have batteries. Because the battery production is slowed. Yeah, all right. I mean, that's pretty legit. That's the part of the problem is the battery production slowed because for a while we didn't have enough crude. Now we do have enough crude, but the petroleum gas is still a little bit rough. So look how fast we run on the concrete. I should really get more of this put everywhere. Wee! All right, folks. Thanks for watching. We're going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.